the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the New Orleans Saints. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. carry for Josh Jacobs and he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34 a nice run here early on it doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses the previous run good for nine here's second and a yard A handoff, Jacobs running to the left, running right through him, sheds off the tackle, and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. On play action, Rodgers escaping the pressure right. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Second and four. Gets it quickly out to Marshall. And some space here. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That's how you draw up the run pass option right there. You get a chunk play out of it. And you know quarterbacks love to throw the RPOs because oftentimes they're in-breaking routes, but receivers love it even more. The ball gets to them quickly, allows them to put some moves on in the secondary. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. The well, former LSU Tiger, Dante Jackson, on the stop. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. So five yards here, five on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now... And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Josh Jacobs, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Giants take it right down and score on the opening drive. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From way up at the 23. Now a 
play fake here on first down. They've got his man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big connection on that one. 36 yards. As a defense, what a nuisance when you look on the other side and they've got a tight end that can run a post route like that. And you felt the ground shake, didn't you? Oh, you've been all the way up here in this booth. How about when he grabbed the football? You could see the tear as everyone was thinking. Do I even want to try and tackle that big man? They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now back to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Flowers. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Well, this defense for the Giants, they were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. And I think our statistician, we ended up having to bring the blue tent and put it around him for a while because he was developing a hand injury from having to write down all the turnovers this team forced. Five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely unbelievable. I hope he'll recover. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They'll look to throw here. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Daniil Hunter able to record his fifth sack of the season. Partner, we had their game last week where they had six sacks. So a little bit more momentum here again in the first quarter. And last week it appeared that they were coming out of sprinter's blocks chasing the quarterback. So how do they continue that? How do they keep making it happen? Different looks, different disguises different angles that they chase it. They were so disruptive last week. We'll see what the trend is here as we go forward. They'll look to throw. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one. That result. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete to John Ross. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
The last run got a couple. here, second and eight. Now Rodgers. Got a man. That's Kyler Johnson. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. For Marshall, that's complete. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Going back to Marshall, he's got him again. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it, so they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up. That's pulled in by Marshall for a giant touchdown. Terrace Marshall with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 14 to nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From the six. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 to score as they regroup with first and 10. They'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. So a nice run right there. And worth mentioning, their usual starting running back out this week. The hope is it's just a short-term absence. But this is where it pays, Charles, to have a quality reserve that you can turn to when you need it. And to me, they definitely have that because this is a guy who's more than capable of picking up the slack. And he's likely going to see a big share of carries as this one progresses. And how many times do we see running backs jump into the breach and have big games? Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A big connection on that one. 34 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Two minutes to play first half. It's 14 to nothing. Reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. A running room for Kamara on first down as he takes his forward. It's a gain of seven there on first down. Second and three coming up. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Rolling to his right. He's got a man, it's his tight end, that's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. The play action fake, they'll look to throw. Well, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. Taking it right down Broadway. Peppers. 
past the 20. It's over. It's over. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this one. I don't think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. So following the incompletion, here, second and 10 from the 25. A give. This is Kamara. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. the play fake. He'll look to throw. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. A big play that time through the air. 36 yards. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. He'll look to throw. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Aaron Robinson. There he goes, left side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. The pick six extending this lead even further. Boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. If things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. As they'll take over with just 13 seconds to go before the break. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give it maybe a yard and it'll be second down. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks. Yeah, that's something to consider. Are we in for more one-way traffic here in the second half? It has not been a competitive game to this point. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Yeah. 
The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely. But you just have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. He'll look to throw. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Leonard Williams able to record his fifth sack of the season. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. On play action, they'll throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. Able to corral him right at the midfield stripe following that sparkling display of footwork we saw. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it, but a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. He'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Edwards. Yeah, that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. It's David Arnett picking it off. And the Giants are going to have it here just past the 25. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. In trouble, and he's taken down. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. Oh, when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play. 
but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. He finds the speedster Ross. That's complete. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. And the Giants send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Second and nine now. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And he's able to get this down deep on the Giants' on, side of the go, field. Go, go, A big go. play that time on the catch and run. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll drop to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Aaron Robinson. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in the big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw out and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 49 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Again, it's Kamara. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. 
It's a loss of four on the first down play. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. They're going to look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And the Giants have it, it's picked up. Then they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Okay, this isn't one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example, do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through. And that last error, I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely, that's been representative of their entire game still being shut out. Taking a shot here for Marshall. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A big connection on that one, 39 yards. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. The 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Rodgers now on third and goal. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases. Offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one, you're exactly right. Clean sweep, and boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get put. And now here's another interception. Picked off here the 32. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From the six. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Well, partner, I think it's safe to say they can mark this down as extremely frustrating. Here we are in the fourth quarter, and that last play, that turnover, I think it epitomizes what happened to them all day on offense. So symbolic, and that's why they're still being shut out. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. He's going to air one out. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. So it's J. 
Giants football here as we welcome you back. And yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. They'll run on first down. Jacobs. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Second and 12. Once again, it's Jacobs. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 51 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. On second down, it's Jacobs. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. They'll run with Jacobs. And it looks like he's going to be stopped short of the first down by about a yard. This defense bending but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. They go with Jacobs, and he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the Saints able to come up with a goal line stand. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. So a victory 